Hi guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Come on. So today I'm going to be doing a go up video for Valentine's Day. Sorry my hair looks a mess, but I'm about to do it, so don't don't clock me. But I just wanted to let you guys know what today's video is gonna do going to be. I'm going to do my hair and my nails for Valentine's Day and I'm about to make funnel cakes, everyone. Wow. Thanks for telling us. Anyway, yeah, so we're about to do a glow video. So if you like fashion, let me start over. So if you like fashion, lifestyle, and college related content, then go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching and let's get started. So before we do our glow, we're gonna make these Valentine's Day cookies. They're so cute. Look at them. Check them out. And now I'm about to make the icing. Okay, what's up, y'all? I'm back and we're actually about to get started. Let me just um warn y'all that my room is a mess right now. I'm sorry, I don't have an excuse. I feel like I always see my room is a mess. I literally clean my room like every day and it just gets right back a mess. It's so irritating. But I'm gonna braid my hair if I didn't already say that. So I had this wig on for like just a few days to be honest. I think like three days. I just spray water on my wig to get it off because I just got to be. But yeah, so I washed my hair before I put this wig on, which was like three days ago. So I don't think I'm gonna wash my hair again because I don't, I can't wash my hair too often or it'll literally dry out. We don't want that. So, yeah. And I had to send this stuff to my website today because I was gonna go shop my business at Less Maniac. But yeah, I think I'm gonna try to do my hair and my nails tonight. It's currently 7 o'clock. So, and I only have one pack of hair. But I'm doing big braids. So, hopefully, I have enough hair. I think I will. Okay, so I think. Yeah. Okay, so a little bit of the glue for my wig out of my hair. <sighs> but that's fine. I can literally just calm that out. So, let me get the glue out of my hair real quick and then I'll come right back. I some jeans on. I should have put some shorts on because I'm going to be here for a while. So, I might change. But I'm getting most of it out. And I'm just using alcohol. If anyone's wondering, I just use alcohol to put residue off of my face and out of my edges. Usually I will wash it out of my edges, but I really don't feel like it. I'm gonna be so honest. And I know that's bad for me about to be doing braids, but it's not that much in my hair. It was more so on my forehead. So I'm gonna wash my face tonight. Anyway, yeah. <sighs> I got all the residue out. These are my braids. I didn't even blow dry my hair or nothing. I just braided it up when I washed it. So it is a little thickums right now. I'm just gonna take these out. And yeah. Okay, so I took out my braids and everything. I kind of brushed my hair out, but I didn't brush it out everywhere. I'm not even gonna lie. So now I'm going to, oh, by the way, I'm doing some jumbo braids with beads on the end. So that's the rest of all I'm doing. Oh my God, I look so old school right now with this Afro, <laughs> but yeah. So I'm about to part my hair into sections and then I'll show you guys when I'm done. Well, I'll show you some of me parting it so y'all can see what I'm doing. I literally finally found out um, a parting trick. So I saw a video and it said part from one ear to the other. I don't know why I didn't think of that before because that literally makes so much sense. If you can part it all at once, then do that. But it'd be kind of hard. So hopefully y'all can see what I'm doing. And I'm not no hairstylist, so don't clock me if you look crazy. I always struggle to part my hair uh, every time. Hopefully you're better at parting than me. After like 10 tries, I finally got a part. And it still looked bad, but you know what? This is the best I can do, so. Well, I can't believe my room is this messy right now. And I'm just on camera like this, sorry. Okay, my room is not even that messy. I just didn't make my bed and it's got my computer on it. <laughs> it is what it is. I'm rough out here, man. It's been rough out here. Anyways, so I'm just gonna try to brush this out. Not try. I'm just gonna brush my hair out and I'm get some water in this a little bit. And I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, so I'm gonna take my first braid and they're gonna be really big. So I'm splitting the hair into like five ish sections so I can feed them in and make these are gonna be not loose, by the way. But yeah, so I can feed them in and make the braids neat. I don't know, this is more like seven. <laughs> Oh my god, sorry about the background noise, it's upstairs. I apologize in every video, I just need to get a new surrounding, to be honest. But yeah, BRB. So I'm about to make this whole big, I'm about to make this whole big part one braid. I just brush it out. 
I'm gonna put a little small amount of gel on it. Like literally such a little amount. I wish that was kind of watery. I don't really like it. Okay, a little bit more than a small amount. <laughs> put that in there. I'm gonna start braiding. Oh, I need to put some on the bottom. I'm gonna start braiding. I braid down maybe like twice and then I add in my first strand of hair. Braid down once, add in another strand. Another strand. I need to start parting my hair in the front because in the front I always only have a tiny bit of hair left to stretch. <laughs> And it's my fault because I should be making it do my perimeter first, you know what I'm saying? I'm just gonna keep braiding the pieces in until you have a thick enough braid. Sometimes it'll get a little tangled. You just take your fingers and detangle it. And I just have one more piece to add. Because these are jumbo braids, you want to be kind of generous with the pieces you add. Ah, this one's a little bit messed up. Uh, oh my god, that's irritating. This one is a little bit messed up. Like, y'all see this hump? But I don't feel like taking it out, so y'all just got to see another one where it looks better. And just keep braiding it down. The end part is very important, like right around where your hair ends. Honestly, I say just adding a little bit of gel right there. And then keep braiding. Yeah, that's how you do a mountainous braid. This is my first braid. It's a little bit uneven. I might go back in and redo it, but this is the general look we're going for, so. Yeah, let's go ahead and do the other side. So I'm about to just keep braiding my hair and I'm gonna watch my show. And then when I come back, I have most of my hair done and I'll show you guys the front. Hey y'all, I'm back and I'm on my last braid. This literally took me like two hours because I did really big braids. You know, I'm doing the big braids with the beads. I have about 13 braids in my hair and I'm on my last braid right here in the front. But I just wanted to show y'all the progress, the update. So we're almost done. And after I braid my hair, I'm about to go eat dinner. <laughs> so and heat up some water so I can dip my ends. I feel like this globe's going pretty well. I still need to finish a couple of gifts. Like, oh, I have so much to do. So little time, but it's cool. I hope you guys are having a good Valentine's Day. Or when you see this, you had one. I hope that you used it to show love to everyone in your life. Not just specifically for your significant other. It can be to your mom, brothers and sisters, your dad anyone because that is important as a lot of to say now i'm gonna just finish this braid and <laughs> get back to y'all i guess i could show y'all me doing this braid since it's the last one i thought i was gonna run out of hair too but luckily i didn't because that would be bad it's nighttime and the hair store is closed so <laughs> luckily we didn't run out of hair Y'all notice I have in my pink septum for Valentine's Day. Hopefully, the next time y'all see me, I'll have my nose pierced. <laughs> so I want to get my nose pierced, just like the side of my nose. My nose is really like fat and like clump, but it's okay. I feel like I was silly cute with a nose piercing, and it'll go right along with my septum. Ooh, I'm really gonna look like my sister though. Oh my god, I'm gonna really look like my sister if I get my nose pierced. Did, but yeah. I'll be right back and I'll show you guys me putting in the beads. So hey y'all, I did my braids and they look really good. I feel like they look good without the beads too. And I did my edges, but I just, they're not dry yet. But they look good without the beads too, but I'm about to put some beads on them. And once I put those on, I'm gonna show y'all, so. Oh. Okay, so hey y'all, I finished my hair, let me show y'all. Y'all like it or what? 
And I did buy baby hairs literally for y'all because I wasn't even gonna do one, but I guess I had to make the hairstyle look complete. But yeah. So I finished my hair and I'm about to do my nails. I would show y'all the process of me doing my nails, but I already have a video of me doing that. So go ahead on my channel and watch the video called How Girls Do Things With Long Nails. That was one of the best videos on my channel. Like it did really well. But yeah, so I'm also gonna do my nails and I'll show y'all a few clips here and there, but it's not a tutorial. So yeah, I'll be right back. Good morning, y'all. <laughs> so I ended up finishing my nails. This is how they look. I just woke up, so. You know how that goes. I have little jewels on them and these are little gold heart. Not the best that I ever did, but I really like them. I think they're really, really cute. So I'm up for the day and I'm gonna clean my room. It's not that messy because I cleaned it a little bit last night, but I'm gonna clean my room today and then I'm gonna get in the shower and come back and show you guys my hair and my nails together. Then I'm gonna do my makeup. Sorry if I was just really quiet. I just woke up. I'm trying to talk loud, but ugh. so yeah, let's go ahead and get up. So I did. I cleaned my room. I made my bed, cleared my floor as I should. The only thing that's still a little bit, you know, questionable is my table area, my desk area. But that's because I have to do some stuff today. So I just set everything right there that I needed. And yeah, so. Now that our room is clean, we can go take a shower. Okay, so hey y'all, I'm back. I got the shower. I did everything. I moisturized my face. I just used my face serum and my moisturizer. I don't know if I really recommend this face serum. I got it from Marshalls. That should already tell you enough, but yeah, I just used what I had. So now I'm just gonna be doing a little bit of makeup, but I don't really have that much time. I mean, I have time. I'm really not in a rush, but I need to get a lot of stuff done today, so. We're just gonna do a little bit of makeup, and I'm really running out of brow pomade. It's so irritating. But yeah, we're gonna start with our brows. I've been liking my natural brow lately, which is so rare. I already did a lot messed up. This is embarrassing. But yeah, because normally I think my natural brows look a little crazy, but lately they've been looking pretty good. I haven't worn makeup in like three days, I think. It's a long time for me, so <laughs> be proud. But yeah, I'm just gonna do my brows and I'll come right back. And let me remind y'all to take y'all vitamins because oh my god my freaking edges look white so okay i'm gonna have to fix that oh it's just this one really but anyways i'm here to remind y'all to always take y'all vitamins i feel like people don't say that a lot especially if you're a girl um not saying it's not important for boys but if you are a girl then you need to take your vitamins hello it's kind of obvious like girls they do everything their bodies do everything so make sure you're taking your vitamins and if you just look white put some water on them because that's embarrassing hopefully they don't look that bad i really can't tell in this light like how they look they're the same red as me yesterday i didn't even i just wrapped them up in the scarf i didn't even do my edges again or nothing like that but yeah friendly reminder to take your vitamins i'm about to use this concealer and go carve out my eyebrows i wanted to start doing um like subject videos like i'll be either doing my makeup or painting or something and i'll just be talking about a certain topic so what do y'all think of that is that a good idea if you think so then leave a comment if you're this far into the video and if you are this far into the video then thank you so much because you must like the video to still be watching it so thank you so yeah just carve out my bottom brow sometimes i don't even do the top of my eyebrow but if they look really really like messy and they do right now like they need a shape up shape up for your eyebrows but yeah if they need a shape up then i'll usually do the top so i'm gonna do the top today so i finished my eyebrows i feel like they look okay i don't really know but now i'm just gonna put some concealer on my forehead to even it out and this concealer dries so fast like you have to blend it out quick or it's gonna leave a nice patch <laughs> We don't want that. Just to leave my forehead bare. Don't do that, y'all. I mean, sometimes it can look fine, but other times, man, put something on your forehead, make your skin look even. Okay, that is a little pale. I'll admit, that's a little pale. But we're gonna go in with some bronzer, so don't even worry about it. And now, before I put my lashes on, I've been starting to do my concealer before my eyelashes because apparently you know your eyelashes to do your last step. I usually used to do eyeshadow a lot, so I would put on my eyelashes when I was done with my eyeshadow and then do my face, but I don't do eyeshadow as much anymore. I still do sometimes, but not as much. Never know. So I feel like this video is getting a little bit long, so I'm not gonna show you guys every single step of my makeup, but 
just know that now I'm putting on powder. After this, I'm gonna be bronzing, and then I'll show you guys when I'm putting on my lap. Be right back. Oh, I'm not showing y'all because I already have a video up on how I do my makeup. Um, I just recently uploaded one. Actually, two. I have an everyday one, and then a uh, something else. So you can go watch those if you guys want to see how I do my makeup because I do my makeup the same as I did in those videos for the most part. So. Right back. Okay, y'all, so I'm back and I finished my face makeup Ooh, for the most part. It looks kind of bad on camera, I'm not gonna lie. But I swear I don't look this bad in person. Like, it really don't. <laughs> so I'm about to put on some lashes. I don't even know which ones to wear. Sorry, yeah, I had to hear that. It's just a lot going on right now, apparently. But yeah, so I'm gonna pick some lashes and come on. So now, I usually put my lashes on my fingers, but now that I got my nails on, it might be a little bit hard. I'm using my tweezers. I used to always put my lashes on with tweezers. I don't know. It's like different periods of time I use my fingers a lot or I use my tweezers. It always goes back and forth. And then let me just try to brush it out. Oh, I should have brushed it out before I put it on. Mm. A little bit of glue on this one, so. One lash down. Let me put on the other one. Oh, let me squeeze it close. I use these little, you know. Sometimes these don't work. Like, if my lashes are too voluptuous, I can't even fit this around them. The nice natural ones are the fluffier ones like these. It's nice to be able to use this thing. Mm. I'm gonna put my other lash on and do my lips and I'll be right back. Oh, if you're wondering, I'm doing the same lip combo that I always do. Brown and gloss. I love using a lip cream instead of a lip liner. It's honestly the best thing ever because it's so much easier. I use this really light pink gloss on top. Usually most of the time, sometimes I switch it up, but I like it because it's light pink. So it gives like a little highlight in the middle, you know? Like you see? You see it. <laughs> okay, baby, we is ready. This is how we're looking, hair done, nails done, everything did it. It's in my pants. I didn't feel like the no no like. So this is the final look in daylight. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you again in my next one. Bye.